Hi, everybody. David Starr here with KI. Um, I want to welcome you to this, and I also welcome, want to welcome my colleague, Rabbi Elizabeth Bonnie Cohen. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Rabbi Starr. It's great to be with you today. Um, Rabbi Hamilton's out of town this week, but we will be excited to welcome him back next week. We have this very famous thing that happens in this week's parasha, where, uh, of course, B'nai Israel, the children of Israel, are trying to move forward. And uh, they find themselves uh, literally between a rock and a hard place. At the end of this, Moses is punished severely by God in this very famous, very sad, poignant way, which is that he doesn't get to go into the land of Israel because of something that happens at the rock. Why? What did he, what did he, what did he do wrong? Why does God punish him? You know, I, I, uh, I appreciate the question, and I think... The more I'm, I'm sitting with this story, the more I wonder if it's not that, uh, that Moshe sins um, by hitting the rock, but that just like anything, our actions have consequences. Um, and that maybe he was so desperate for water, the, the community was so desperate for water, that he did what he needed to do in order to, to draw water from the rock, not seeing that uh, full redemption actually happen, um, but that, that in order to get the people there, in order to get the people to a redeemed place, um, it meant acting forcefully uh, in a way that, that maybe, um, maybe talking to the rock uh, would not have done. I don't know, what do you think? I'm really torn about it. I think that the, some of the classical commentators who perhaps are thinking about this from a different per theological perspective than we may have are assuming that, well, if God punishes him, by definition, it means he did something wrong. And then the question is, okay, so what did he do wrong? So they're, they're not necessarily conceding our premise. The boundary between the stuff that God does in terms of miracle making, like in the Exodus story, the, the mano a mano thing with Paro that God does in the plagues, God's supposed to do miracles, we're supposed to stay out of nature, basically. And that maybe Moshe is, in effect, creating the impression, however wittingly or not, that he can make miracles along with God, and that is verboten, that human beings are never supposed to do that. I, I think I'm still troubled by the fact that this is that this is lifted up as this grave sin um, that is, you know, to the demise of Moshe's character. And, um, you know, that this is, of all the things that he's done in his life, remember, he's killed a person, um, that in all the things that he's done in his life, that this is the thing um, that, that keeps him out of the land of Israel. Um, you know, like you're saying, maybe that's, um, trying to work wonders or work miracles in a way that we shouldn't be doing, that we should depend on, on God for. But our tradition also teaches us that we're partners with God um, in creation, we're partners with God um, in, uh, in, our, in our current fate. And um, it's hard for me to just sit by and uh, wait for wonders. The most famous political leader in the history of the state of Missouri, Harry Truman, said once, sometimes you have to forget about principle and do the right thing. And I, that's really what I hear you saying about Moshe here, meaning that there is a kind of a theological principle that, these, that the commentators noted, which is God does nature and people stay away from the miracle business. But you're saying something that's, I think, very important, which is that being a leader, being a public figure, it means that you have to act in a vacuum oftentimes. You don't necessarily know what the right thing is. Um, you have to trust your instincts with the knowledge that there's going to be a cost to anything that you do. So I think you could argue that that's, in effect, really what Moshe was doing, which is he was trying to push them. He was going to pay a price for this. He was either that he was he was not going to succeed in getting them to move forward. Or he might succeed in getting them to move forward, but in some ways he might, there might be other consequences to that. And I think with that, we will wish everyone uh, Shabbat Shalom. Great to be with you today. Shabbat Shalom. Great to be with you. Take care.